Um, I mean, it, it makes sense. That makes sense to answer, you know, to comment. That's That makes sense, Denilok. That definitely makes sense. Um, I think that, I mean, we got Copper Mail coming in for, bro, check out the economy of Illuminati. This is just insane. Rampo was talking about the crazy um, Thorico. Getting some good Vill picks here, man. Gabu's getting some really good Vill picks. The problem is that these old stocks are not hit, uh, medium. Could be taking much better trades right here with both the villagers and the and the military units if he if he upgraded to medium Ulfsarks. But still, this is a pretty darn good raid right here in all sincerity. It was a lot of Ulfsarks, but he is getting a lot of villager kills. 26 to 27 villagers. Okay, they're basically on similar, you know, the same villager numbers. But Alrighty, everybody. Welcome to game number one. This is the this is the bottom battle, baby. Bottom battle. We got Kaluminati, who I think is in spot seventeen right now. He is playing against Thor here, or he is playing as Thor here in the blue. And we have Gabu. Of course, we got Gabu playing Loki here in the red. Um, it is impressive that Kaluminati has been playing Thor all throughout this tournament, man. Not a Kimo's played, you know, mostly Thor. Shadowfax have played a lot of Thor as well. So kudos to the kudos to the boy play, boys playing Thor here. Um, not on water maps. Anyways, yeah. So um, Thor here starting off with actually, I love this. Actually, check this out. Man. We got Thor. There we go. So he's got he already has five cows, which is really nice. Already found a couple of cows. I love this. Kaluminati actually pulls his Aurochs into his town center. And he that means he can use his um he can save his Dwarven Goldmine God Power. And he's able to go over to this um to send his ox cart over to um the over to the gold mine again to save his his Dwarven Goldmine God Power. This is amazing, man. This is really amazing. Especially since he's playing against Loki. Um this allows him to you know, just straight up not get gold starved at, you know, 8, 9, 10, 11 minutes, whatever. Um, yeah, very nice for him. Although, having said that, the Arox, the starting Arox, that's sick. He can, you know, pull it into his base. But after that, where is he going for food? He's going into the middle. Looks like he's going into the middle. There's a couple of giraffes right here. Gapu likely going to spy one of those two villagers right here if he's paying attention. Or maybe not. Boom, there's a spy. Of course, Kaluminati is going to know that, you know, that happened. Anyway, so the food is a little out there, man. It's a little, it's a little out there for your, for Kaluminati. Right on the other side of this wood line right here, and the Witchman bucket right there. A little awkward for him. A little awkward. Are you kidding me? He actually sees this patch of giraffes over on this left-hand side of his base. Right outside of his base, he has giraffes. Crazy. He actually goes four villagers forward. I guess he must have um, found this, these giraffes forward before he found those. That's a little bit of a bummer because, oh boy, that would be a sick little second hunt patch right there. Anyways, this is super sketchy. There are two giraffes there. I'm pretty sure he's going to be able to get or er, classical um, on, on those two giraffes. If he really, really needs to, he can go to there. Uh, but that's, you know, that's not going to be a good time. Another sick hunt patch here. So pretty high hunt map. Pretty high hunt map. Lots of cows in his base as well. Nine cows. Again, he saved the Dwarven Gold Mine. So very, very nice, man. Tito, wow. It's been a long time since I've seen that name. What's up, Tito? Anyways, um, is he? he's not advancing just yet, I guess. Just barely starting his temple. So maybe going to be a little bit behind advance-wise compared to, compared to Gabu. Let's go over to Gabu's side. Okay, Gabu, of course, going with the Loki action. He has six cows himself. Not as good as Kaluminati. Seven cows, rather. But still, that's a you know good number of cows himself. Yeah, Gabu actually has right in the front side of his base. He actually has this patch of um, giraffes and this second patch of giraffes. So lots of hunt right outside the front side of his base. Since he is, you know, he's advancing first. He just click, clicked up the Forsetti. So he's going to be up at about 425, roughly. Um, you know, the, the forward giraffes, really nice. Sorry, the double forward giraffes, really nice because he has the earlier advance. He's going to get his Hursar out faster. Um, probably gonna force Kaluminati to play defensively. Um, yeah, okay, okay, Forsetti, or sorry, um, Kaluminati is up to Forsetti himself, which is really nice. He's only about, you know, 5-10 seconds behind, which is not the worst thing in the world. Um, thank you for doing predictions, Matrius, if you're the one that did that. Whoever did the predictions, I appreciate it, thank you. Anyways, um, yeah, wall enough to protect the gold mine. Not too shabby, man, not too shabby. I want to look at Gab the rest of Gabby's base real quick. He's also got a really sick patch of giraffe just outside, um, his base on the top side. Also has a bunch of gazelles up there, which is really nice as well. Trio's bow. 
the ballista do more damage that's not really going to be pertinent in this game <clears throat> excuse me anyways yeah so nice i like the macro here from um from gloom oops hey buddy i like the macro here from Kaluminati. the fact that he's sharing ox carts wood and food right here i really like it man i really like it he has advanced excuse me to her here out and about i'll excuse me ready Longhouse coming in, Longhouse coming in. Yeah, in fact, this is really sick, man. Illuminati, he knows that these um, villagers are spied. He saw the, the Ulfsark earlier, so he bumps those guys over to wood. Now, these guys should probably swap those guys over to the drafts, but yeah, very nice that his um, his hunters are no longer spied. Three hers here for Illuminati here. Nice, nice, nice. By the way, is there a plas? We can check all the changes from Vubli and Extended Edition. Possibly, Tito, possibly. You saw that I was watching NAC5 earlier. You spotted my donation. Hell yeah, Tito. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. I'm a big guy. Uh... Oh, my hero. <laughs> Teddy. Teddy votes Gabu. Teddy votes Gabu. Teddy is sleeping down there in the corner, man. He's sleeping down there in the corner. I would pick him up and, you know, have him say hi, but he's, yeah, he's sleeping down in the corner. I don't want to bother him. Anyways, yeah, Tito, dude, I'm a big NAC5 fan, and I'm a big NAC5 fan. I don't play a lot of Age of Empires 2 anymore, but, you know, I, I like to watch it by all means. I like to watch Age of Empires 2 more than I like to watch Age of Mythology in all sincerity. Anyways, Kay. Yeah, interested. This is nice. This is nice. Gabu's going to be able to bust in and then, boom, pick off that troll right away. Sick, 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 sick. How many hers here do we have here? We have seven to five with the throwing axemen coming out for Kaluminati going for those uh, herser and throwing axemen. Are we going to have a nice little Einher Yars? Ooh, or not Einher, Myth Unit spawn. There's our first herser pick. Almost getting a second there. The the Healing Spring doing a decent bit of damage here. The troll from Gabu not really doing much damage at all to the herser, honestly. It looks like Kaluminati's taking this better fight, although maybe not because of Valkyrie spawn. Six, 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 six. Valkyrie spawn. The troll, the troll not able to target. It's not close enough to target actually gabu gabu ooh, ooh, troll troll just uh gets sniped right there by kaluminati what a play there by kaluminati man what a play by kaluminati excellent 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 little um little attack right there a little fight i think that was an excellent fight right there man very very nice for for kaluminati just a second hey we're back we're back healing up a couple of the couple of the hers here nice again gabby's got so much hunt that he can take um after he's finished with those giraffes he could even go down to these aurochs a little bit further you know a, a little bit to the left of 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 his um existing hunt right now so kaluminati actually dude check this out kaluminati has good number of cows right he was able to take all of those giraffes um or you know he's needs one more but yeah he's taking all of his giraffes right here he has a lot of cows and check out this gold mine man he already has this gold mine walled up this is decent dude this is really decent for him to he's getting husbandry both of the guys are getting husbandry um i think this is really nice for kaluminati potentially if he's able to get heroic at a decent time um, he can drop a hill for it there drop a hill for you know secure that gold mine freaky However, you know, Gabu, by all means, Gabu hitting that, boom, gets a bill pick, hitting that, hitting that villager group right there. Is that a second bill pick? Second bill pick plus a troll. That is huge, man. Very, very nice. Gabu wants to just do as much damage as possible, prevent him from um, getting heroic as well. The throwing axemen are in, so by all means, Gabu's taking a nice fight here, getting lots of villager kills, a second troll spawn, which is really sick. But by all means, it was a costly one. It was a costly one. He ended up, I'm not sure how many herser he ended up losing, but he's losing herser, baby. He's losing herser. There go the trolls. Okay, sure. Okay, sure. Illuminati's down by two villagers, ultimately 26 to 28. So that was a good raid. That was a good raid. But, you know, by all means, it, uh, you know, it cost, it cost Gabu for sure. It cost Gabu. So good, good, good defense for Illuminati. Good attack, but good defense at the same time. Good defense at the same time. I'm not entirely sure who that was better for. Was it better for Gabu getting the vil picks? Look how weak some of these other villagers are. Boom, boom, boom. That's three, you know, impending uh, vil picks as well. It can't happen. Anyways, or was it better for Kaluminati to pick off all those hers here? I think it was maybe better for Kaluminati to pick off all those hers here. Those, I mean, he's only two, three, two or so villagers behind. All those hers here, 80, you know, that's 80 food, man, that Gabu's having to replace. Gabu does have really sick hunt, you know. He's got the map initiative, the map control, essentially. So he's able to take all that really sick hunt. 
In fact, I kind of, instead of going instead of going to the cows, Gabu knows that there's giraffes up here. I would actually prefer Gabu to have two hunt spots, honestly, instead of eating all these cows. He can let these guys fatten up that much more. Hunt is faster anyways, man. Why is he gathering wood outside of his base? Ah, uh, you know, leave him alone. He's doing a good job. Although Gabby is going to come in here and get a second really nice, uh, really nice raid. If he's not careful, there's another nice raid coming, you know, maybe on the backside of here. Illuminati walling up, gets this medium, medium throwing Axeman upgrade. Sick, 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 sick. Sigma, you think it's not worth it? For who? Not worth it for Gabu or not worth it for Illuminati? Probably not worth it for Gabu. Losing, I don't know how many Herser he lost right there, but he did lose quite a few Herser in that little raid right there. Anyways, getting lots of damage, getting lots of favor income here, lots of favor income. In my opinion, at this point in time, I think Gabu should probably target Heroic Age. Um, he has done some damage here. He has also taken some damage. But at this point in time, Kaluminati's done a pretty good job walling up his base. Look at all this congestion, man. He's done a good job walling up his base. So I think maybe Gabu stop producing and go heroic. And it looks like that's kind of what he's doing. Um, you know, really close to going heroic. Just needs a little bit more, a little bit more food. And there we go. His villager count is misleading because it's all dwarves. Is that why? Hey, Gabu on the forward gold. He's also got this gold mine over here. Again, he's taking all that hunt, which is really nice. Still trying to sneak in and get a little bit of some damage here, which he might be able to, but yeah, good reaction time from Kaluminati at the same time. Do we have any armory upgrades? No, we do not from Kaluminati. Okay. Yeah, I think I think this is a little bit too ambitious for Gabu. It's a little bit too ambitious for Gabu. Oh my hero! Yeah. Delay, maiden, please enjoy a tasty brew. I will eventually, Hyun. I will, or as the TTS guy says, Hyun. I will eventually, Hyun. Not yet. I just started drinking coffee again. Um, you know, two days ago or so. Um, decaf coffee. I just, you know, got the decaf coffee going. Merry Christmas, by the way. Hey, there you go. Hmm. Anyways, um, so it'll take some time to get the bruise going, but yeah. Right, this is interesting. Gabu taking the, actually, Gabu taking this town center right here, right outside of this gold mine. This is, this is really awkward for Kaluminati. Kaluminati's up through Scotty, both players getting copper mail. He's up through Scotty, so here pretty darn soon, he, he will be able to a little bit more confidently fight against this army. Um, you know, not having to worry about flaming weapons reaction time from Kaluminati. So is the play here for Kaluminati to just go for a straight Ragnarok? Probably. Probably. This TC up on this top side is way out in the boonies. And, you know, this one, it's going to take him some time to actually reclaim this town center from Gabu. So the, er, you know, the straight Ragnarok play, probably the way to go. But let's see. Let's see what he decides to do. Let's see what he decides to do. What's up, Shininya? Or rather, I should say, to the bang. He just says, I haven't done anything in six years or so, I swear. I haven't done anything. What is this? What is this? No Aranos abuser allowed. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I like what, I really like what Gab is doing here, man. He's just walling up, walling up, prepping for, you know, actually, yeah, getting some raiding cavalry and bad wars out, prepping to counter the, um, counter the throwing axemen here. I like Gabu's position, but... But it is a little bit complicated because of the frost and the flaming weapons, you know? In fact, he is trying to um, split up his army. So Gabby's got a little army over here, little army here, little army there, blah, blah, blah. There is potential here. And there's the balder. Yep, there's the balder. There's the balder for Kaluminati. He, he's, you know, this ain't his first rodeo. Right? His first rodeo. Is it going to be enough, though? 36 villagers? Bro, that's not, that's not a very big Ragnarok, man. He's going to be up at about 14 and a half minutes, roughly. It's going to be about 14 and a half minutes that he actually, um, you know, advances. So it's not going to be a big Ragnarok, but, you know, by all means, it, it might be enough. It might be enough. Gabby with the second town center, though. He's getting fortified TCs as well. He will have a nice population advantage compared to Illuminati, so let's see. Does everyone play on extended edition now, says Tito? Not at all, not at all. It's about 50-50, the, the, the multiplayer population. 
competitive players still on Boobly. Plenty of competitive players on Extended Edition, but, you know, the tippy-top competition is on Boobly currently. Or still, rather. The Thor player is being ultra-passive. He is being ultra-passive, um, Denlock, but that is on purpose because he is up through Balder. Um, even though Gabby was on two TCs now, um, you know, actually going for a third TC. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Gabu's got to know that a Ragnarok is coming in, right? He's got... Oh, boy. He's got to know that a Ragnarok is coming in. And actually, usually, it's the it's the Loki player who we see going for. Boom. Instant Ragnarok um, usage to prevent losing more dwarves there. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Lots of throwing Axemen here, man. Super sick. Lots of throwing Axemen. Let's see. Let's see if the Ragnarok is going to be big enough. Like I said, 36. He's at 190 population, man. It's 14 and a half minute Ragnarok. That's not too bad. It would have been better, obviously, if he would have gotten fortified TCs, you know, more, 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 more armory upgrades, blah, 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 blah. A second town center, blah, 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 whatever. Yeah, one TC rag. Is it actually going to work here, man? Is it actually going to work? This is his bread and butter right here, baby. This is his bread and butter right here. These throwing axemen are sick, 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 sick. He's got to keep these throwing axemen alive along with um, along with that fire giant right there. Okay, the goldies are moving out. That's a good idea by uh, Gabu, keeping his goldies over there. He's uh, still hunting, man. Still hunting. Incredible. Okay, he's got a Gabu. Nice defense. Gabu's got a heal fort in his base. Does he have masons? He does not have masons. Okay, heavy throwing axemen for Kaluminati. Looking good. The town center went down. Nice. The town center went down for Gabu. So Kaluminati looking good in that manner. Mountain Giant is not in um, the main base of Gabu, however. So Gabu's... Gabu... Man, Gabu's a Loki player. It's not like this is his first rodeo fighting against uh, Ragnarok by all means. He decides not to go mythic and he's just investing into the heroic age. Again, fortify TC. Use the second TC grab. He's going to try and just fight it, baby. He's going to try and fight it. Full line of copper upgrades. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Of course, he expected. What else, you know, should he have expected here? Um, nice find over here by uh, Kaluminati. Very nice find. Yeah, what else should Gabu have expected? Um, just the one TC play from Kaluminati. You knew, he knew exactly. Oh, my God. This is a sick raid. Just look at all those villagers with the retarded pathing around the berries. Oh, mama. That was such a sick raid right there. Look at that. 48 villagers for Gabu. I don't know how many fill picks he just got right there. It was like 10 or something like that. Maybe not quite 10. 7, 7 or 8, something like that. If Kaluminati goes for resources, he can win, says Matrus. Indeed. So the fact that, the fact that you know, you're hiding in plain sight right here is a good move. Still hunting over on this side. Okay, Kaluminati's going for, he's going for the main base. I don't know, Matrus. If he's able to take out this TC, if he's able to take out the TC and keep his um, fire giant alive in order to take out the TC, that could be pretty sick. Remember, there's a frost and a flaming weapons at, at the same time. Hell said he didn't go for the gold. It's a disaster. I think he's kind of looking for it, though. He's kind of looking for it. I think it's okay with what how Kaluminati has um, handled his his Ragnarok right now. I agree that it would have been better if he actually found the gold mines, but it does look like Kaluminati is looking for resources on this top side. This is the rest of his Ragnarok right here. If 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 Gabby was able to get this uh, hill fort up, it's gonna be so sick, man! It's gonna be so sick, and Kaluminati goes for the goes for the frost. He goes for the frost. He doesn't quite get all of the units, but he does stop the hill from go from hill fort from going up, and he's going for the town center now. He's going for the town center now is he gonna get it is he gonna get it one of these towers okay the tower the town center definitely gonna go down is he gonna oh 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 oh, oh, oh. Look, look 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 there's another oh that is so nice by gabby right there one of the a couple of those hearser were able to finish off that finish off that hill fort and once again gabby was going for the huskarls we saw this against hell's ravage in the hell's ravage series why is it going for huskarls i i want to know why dude i want to know why why does it go for the huskarls man why go for the huskarls it doesn't make sense to me it doesn't make sense to me at all at all Gabu still has a lot of villagers down on this bottom side. He doesn't have a town center, and he's got this gold right here. So actually, if Gabu... Yeah, Gabu was able to handle... Ah, this is huge for Gabu. This is really huge for Gabu. A... His gold miners are untouched. B, his um, you know his his wood choppers are untouched. So he's still on 43 villagers. Pretty dadgum decent, right? He's got a couple of hunt, a uh, couple of which. But what are these guys called? Farmers right here. A little bit of eco there. Not too shabby, man. Not too shabby. Also, Illuminati used frost. That means Gabu can follow this up as soon as he finishes his town center. He can follow that up with just a uh, flaming weapons push on, I don't know, maybe just the town center of Kaluminati, possibly? Maybe try and find his, just try and find his army and go for the, you know, flaming weapons attack there. There. He's got flaming weapons, which is huge. 
He's got flaming weapons, which is, which is huge. I don't know what Kaluminati's going to do to um, to stop it. The problem is that he, used, he has used all of his god powers. Gabu still has flaming weapons. That was a sick, you know, that's a very sick pick to idle all those villagers, the ox cart. Anyways, he still has flaming weapons. He has the potential to go mythic, and there's a god power there. Kaluminati's in some, he's in some trouble, man. He's in some trouble. He's in some trouble. Yeah, but has too many resources, it's over. Flame Weapon's gonna finish it. Flame Weapon's probably gonna finish it. Again, what is the deal with the Huskarl play? I want to know. Gabu has got to know that Huskarls do not counter throwing axemen. These are not archers, they're infantry, they're not archers. Oh boy. Oh really boy. Oh boy, oh really boy. Nice micro by Illuminati getting the fire giant on the throwing axemen, but still, the army is just not big enough here, dude. The army is not big enough here. Boom. <laughs> he punches the what's it called? Battle right in the noggin right there. Hey yo. Second town center even coming up for um, Gabu. A couple of, you know, there's hunt that he can take. There's hunt down there that he can take. The, the gazelles on this top side that he can take. Tons of hunt that he can still take. And Kaluminati just calls that, yeah. That was a good attempt, man. That was a really good attempt by Kaluminati. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to get this uh, second town center grab. I think the Thor is done now. Yeah, it's, it's a good call, Denmark. It's a good, it's a good call. Uh, Gabu, good job. Good job going for it. You know, what could Kaluminati have done differently here, you know? The straight Ragnarok play was a decent idea, um, you know, but again, Gabu, this ain't Gabu's first rodeo. He's a Loki player. It's, you know, he's faced many Ragnaroks in his day, by all means. Not about KD, honestly, not about KD. Yeah, not bad, man. Not bad for Gabu. Not bad for Gabu. Not bad for, not bad for Kaluminati either. Um, I guess the little bit of eco damage that Gabu was doing, ultimately, it paid off because if you look at the economy of Gabu, 53 villagers compared to only, you know, the high 30s for Kaluminati, it pays off for him, man. It pays off for him. That was a good attempt by Kaluminati, but Gabu, good job holding the Ragnarok, man. Good job holding the Ragnarok. Wow, everybody. Wow. I am crazy surprised. We have Gabu here in the blue playing Odin. This is one of the first times I've ever seen Gabu play non-Loki. Sometimes in team games, Gabu plays a lot of team games with his PXX buddies. They're really good. They're really good at team um, at uh, at team games. Um, anyways, I've so I've seen Gabu play some non-Loki games, obviously in you know more casual team games. Anyways, but in in one v ones, I've never played him, seen him play anything other than other than Loki. So for some reason, he decides not to go Loki on Midgard, and he goes Odin on Midgard. I'm ever so curious. I want to know. Don't let me forget. Don't let me forget. After this series, I want to know from Gabu, why is he making Huskarls against Throwing Axemen? And why did he end up going Odin on Midgard? I find that very peculiar, but very interesting, very interesting. Um, having said that, as I'm typing in chat, um, I really like his, this position right here, how he's going to the berries and he's got the wood line right there, so he can share the ox card. I think it's really nice. Um, especially since Odin, you have to pay, instead of Loki with Odin, you have to pay full price for your ox carts, so I think that's nice. Anyways, he finds really good fish. Boom, boom. Six fishing ships right next to his dock. Super sick. Let's go look at Kaluminati. So this is Kaluminati's home map. This is Kaluminati's home map. He's uh, playing Thor here. We've seen Kaluminati and Count on Count actually play a lot of Thor, um, and, and this, is their, um, this is their home map. Uh, this is really nice. Got a backwards gold mine. He has wood options. Wood there, wood there. Thinking about forest fire potential, forest fire potentials. Um, boom, boom. Do we not have a prediction going? Let me see. Who wins the game? I think we do have a prediction going. Anyways, yeah, so this is nuts, man. A Thor against Odin and Gabby going Odin here on here on Midgard. Um, you know, interestingly enough, Kaluminati could forest fire this forward forest and get some sick pressure on that gold mine. We have seen, like we saw Count go really aggressive. We have seen Kaluminati go. Let's see, Kaluminati against Nullis was such a sick game. It was... Did Nullis go Odin or Loki? I think Nullis went Odin in that game, actually. Anyways, um, what was I gonna do? I was gonna do something. I don't remember what I was gonna do. Anyways, um, yeah, forest firing this right here and then going aggressive, that could be, that could definitely be an option for Kaluminati. We've seen him go aggressive. Um, with a with a really sick Thor eco. 
I mean, he does have a really sick Thor eco, actually. I mean, look at these, look at these fishing ships. Let's get the resources up in the corner. Here we go. What do we have? We have 10 fishing ships and nine for Gabu. So I mean, look at this, this one, four, seven, <coughs> excuse me, 10, 11, pretty good fishing, fishing, fish long, I guess you call it. Yeah, Gabby's got pretty decent as well. Oh my god! Six, hero. nine. Delay, delay. Horny vibes to the family. To the family? What family? You mean the AOM family? Is that what you're talking about, Hyun? <laughs> Anyways, okay, interesting. Okay, interesting. So Gabby's got his temple up already. Found a bunch of cows. Looks like I think he used his great hunt on the cows and the deers right here. So he has his forward temple, kind of in a funny position actually. Kind of far away from his base, so actually if Kaluminati does end up, you know, going aggressive on that gold mine, that's actually an interesting little Gabby might be kind of in a weird place to to try and defend against some aggression. Um anyways, how about how about Kaluminati's side? He's so he's got the really defensive temple here. Going up through Freya, both players going up to Freya. Um yeah, double dock so far for Kaluminati. We saw that pretty early on. Second dock coming up here for Gabu on this top side. Really nice. He's going to have really good fishing, fish, uh, fish eco himself. Yeah, interesting, interesting. And Kaluminati, Kaluminati's learning, man. He's learning. He's got the, he's got the two, um, the two ox carts expecting the for, uh, the forest fire. Two ox carts going already. Very nice, man. Very nice. Got a third dock going up on this, uh, on this top side. So he's going to, like I said, he's going to have a sick, 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 sick eco. He's got the dwarves, which gather or chop wood faster. He's ahead by a couple of fishing ships himself, so yeah, per sign, immediate per sign. So is he going for the is he going for long houses? Is he going for uh long boats? Boats or houses? Long boats so far. At least out of that dock. See about that dock as well. And how about how about Gabby? Gabby's dropping a long house himself right away. Got the Valkyrie out and about. Per sign coming in as well. So these guys doing really similar. Well, their economies are fairly similar. They're fairly similar, but um, yeah, boom. Instant reaction from Kaluminati there. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Ooh, 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 the, the villagers are indecisive there. Uh, awkward, awkward. Boom, he trades a one villager kill for and some idle time for one Valkyrie kill. Not the worst thing in the world in all sincerity, not the worst thing in the world. Okay, so no longhouses still from Kaluminati. That bit him in the ass when he played his previous round four. Was it round four games? Like it, was it? Yeah, against Hell's Ravage, I think, because um, he delayed building longhouses for so long, and it it really seemed to bite him in the butt. Anyways, a um, little bit a little bit of harassment from this Valkyrie over here. Not quite using. Yeah, no force fire just yet, but he does force. Where is Gabu's eco? There's his wood eco. 12 bills. Oh, dude. Look at how those villagers are stacked up. Oh, mamacita. Imagine a forest fire right there. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Anyways, okay. Another longhouse going up for Gabu. He's going for the Osar play. Interesting. You know, this is a decent idea in my opinion. Gabu's a, Gabu is a very big Forsetti Loki player. So going for Lone Wanderer Ulfsarks, it's a similar idea, right? It's a similar idea. So... By all means, um, you know, that might be a comfortable strategy for him to go to, for him to go for. It's a decent idea. Okay, Valkyrie, again, looking for some harassment, some forest fire damage. Finally, we got Longhouse coming in for Kaluminati. And a bunch of longboats up here on this top side, okay? I don't think Gabu has any longboats, nothing for defense, so... And there's the forest fire. Oh, dude, are you kidding me? One, two, three, four. Is he going to get the fifth? Is he going to get the fifth? Is he going to get the fifth? Come on, Val. Come on, Val. Come on, Val. Boom, gets the fifth. Man, Gabu had a little bit of a slow reaction time. And this is the second amazing forest fire that Kaluminati has had. Against Nolas, he had an amazing forest fire. Boom. Five villagers down um, for Gabu as well. Very well done. He's forcing idle time on the fish as well. Looking pretty decent. Kaluminati looking pretty decent, but he's a little bit slower on land. Not too much slower. Not too much slower, but a bit slower. Gabby with Lone Wanderer coming in. Okay. <laughs> Why not make short boats to save wood? <laughs> nice fill pick. Nice fill pick. So Gabu himself has got two fill picks. One with his, uh, ooh, one with his Valkyrie, and then a second one right there with his, uh, Ulf Sarks. Possible redeem the last game, game prediction. Is that... 
Was that prediction for the last game, for the previous game? Let's throw a theoretical out there. If there's a 10k plus purse for a year-long tournament, would would it make this would it make the tournament a priority? Well, that's the that's the tricky part, Hyon, is that that essentially not only is that hard for you know someone like me or Boyd or both of us or you know whoever to host something like that, but at the same time the players need to be dedicated to play you know for the that long. So players like you know most players are most of us who are playing you know stick around. We're so damn I'm addicted to the game that we stick around for that long, but. You know, by all means, it's that's a tough thing to pull off, man. That's a tough thing to pull off. In fact, it wasn't it Matrius just a couple of minutes ago. Matrius was in chat saying that he doesn't like he doesn't think tournaments should go longer than a month, which is an interesting debate to have. That's a very interesting debate to ba debate to have. Um, medium throwing Axeman coming in here right as soon as Kaluminati takes this fight. It looks like Gabby's gonna his numbers are gonna pay off right here. But by all means, these are unupgraded Ulf Sarks compared to medium Ulf Sarks and throwing Axeman. Okay, so it's a decent fight here for uh, Gavu. Well, it's a decent fight for both players in all sincerity. Yeah. Denlock says the correct move is probably going for Longhouse's first and then Longboat's afterward. Um, I mean, it, it makes sense. That makes sense to answer, you know, to comment. That's That makes sense, Denlock. That definitely makes sense. Um, I think that I mean, we got Copper Mail coming in for... Bro, check out the economy of Kaluminati. This is just insane. Rampo was talking about the crazy um, Thorico. Getting some good Vill picks here, man. Gabu's getting some really good Vill picks. The problem is that these old stocks are not uh, medium. Could be taking much better trades right here with both the villagers and the and the military units if he if he upgraded to medium Ulfsarks. But still, this is a pretty darn good raid right here in all sincerity. It was a lot of Ulfsarks, but he is getting a lot of villager kills. 26 to 27 villagers. Okay, they're basically on similar, you know, the same villager numbers, but still. One big difference is the ship numbers. We got we got 17 fishing ships compared for um, Kaluminati here in the red compared to 11 for Gabu, um, our Odin player. Gabu does, I mean, okay, this is the thing. Illuminati's forcing the reaction from, from Gabu. Forcing the reaction on water from Gabu. He needs to make sure that... Okay, that's just a raven right there. If, 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 you know, Kaluminati prompts this reaction from him, you know, now Gabu is going to be the one maybe, you know, putting some getting some nice damage on uh, Kaluminati's fish. Anyway, so we have three longhouses in for Gabu. Decent number of Ulfsarks. He's out on the gold mine already, on his second gold mine. Hand axe, pickaxe are in. Second town center coming in for Kaluminati, which is really nice. And um, yeah, he's already three quarters of the way up through Scotty. Very nice. 2,500 per caster in different time zones. It would be 20k investment. That would that would be hefty, to say the least. Ah, uh, Hion. That would be very hefty, to say the least. We can talk about it another time. I don't want to talk about it, though, you know, too extensively here in the middle of this series. I think I like this town center play here for Kaluminati because check it out. He's got a really good gold mine right next to the town center behind it. He's got a decent gold mine in front of it. And then also on this right side, there's another gold mine over here. There's a lot of gold mines on this map, actually. So the fact that Kaluminati has the town center over here, he can move his gold over here. He can focus his army and his buildings and whatnot, hill fort, etc. over on this right side. He can really focus on the right side. There's even the town center that's kind of off to the right in the middle of the map. So he can really focus a lot on the right side of the map, um, which might set him up to keep things nice and secure. Um, etc. We got Gabby going for a nice uh, the forward town center, which I really like. He's going for the forward TC. Maybe if he plays continues the aggression in the initiative, he could prevent Kaluminati from getting a town center. Possibly, we'll just have to see. Finally, medium coming in. Okay. Will we get a hundred k, hundred thousand k, hundred thousand k, hundred k tournament for retold? Probably not a hundred k, but. Now, hopefully Microsoft would do, um, or World's Edge or whoever would do some kind of really big tournament for uh, the beginning of AOM Retold. Anyways. Yeah. Uh. Nice little raid right here, man. Nice little raid. By all means, it's on, it's under the Town Center fire. Old Sarks, old Sarks die quickly to Town Center fire, fire, but still, he's getting a good raid. Illuminati's getting the same. He's getting a good raid on the forward gold mine of Gabu. So by all means, in fact, there's a whole lot more army coming in here. That could be a whole... If Gabu doesn't react, dude, if he doesn't react, that could be a whole lot of dead dwarves, baby. That could be a whole lot of dead dwarves. Speaking of dead dwarves, that's a lot of dead dwarves and fills right here for um, Gabu. So good raid, good raid for Gabu. You can maybe follow it up with a second good raid right here, actually. Um, and then on the other side this is a good it looks like a really good fight for Kaluminati right here man really good fight he's got sick throwing axemen going against those um 
Going against those, uh, those Ulsarts. Looking very good here, man. Looking very, very good. Also getting some really nice picks on those villagers. Both players, I mean, they're at 32 to 27 villagers, so... They've both been doing some nice eco damage to, you know, to each other, both on two town centers. The, the eco of Kaluminani, just that much better. I just a head on villagers, a little bit ahead on on um, ship numbers. Speaking of ship numbers, yeah, Gabu getting a little bit of ship damage, but nothing too crazy. 100,000 K sounds good for one year tournament. I agree, Naka, that does sound good for one year, doesn't it? <laughs> 100K thousand, 100,000 K tournament. A hundred thousand, a hundred thousand thousands. <laughs> people, then people would quit their jobs to no life AOM. This sounds like, you know, that sounds like Illuminati's wet dream, baby. Speaking of Illuminati's wet dream, we got, he's going for a town centered here, dude. I don't like this. He doesn't have strong enough. Uh, he doesn't have enough nor strong enough army. If he had heavy army, possibly, man. Um, I don't I don't think I like this move right here. It's a little bit maybe a little bit too YOLO, you know. If he had more units, there's the heavy. Okay, so he does go for the heavy upgrade. That is pretty sick. Maybe that thing will go down, although there is a frost for both players. Frost giant coming in. Gabby decides to frost. Freeze, frost, whatever. Okay. Going to repair his town center as well. We got more units streaming across the map. Ulsarks from both players just streaming across the map. Remember, Kaluminati, Gabu does not have any armory upgrades, whereas Kaluminati has heavy plus copper copper, which is pretty sick. Excuse me. Illuminati even gets a raid back on this backside. Look at all the, there's a handful of weak vil, uh, dwarves right there. Maybe even going for the ox cart. The ox cart is weak itself, so boom, those things are idle without an ox cart. Is Kaluminati maybe going to use a Frost himself? Clutch Frost right there, in my opinion. He gets the tower upgrade, which is really sick against uh, um, all those Norse infantry. Okay. And it forces, yeah, nice save right there, in my opinion. Really nice save by Gabu. Really nice save by Gabu. Uh, he ends up doing a lot of damage to this army of Kaluminati. By all means, Kaluminati got damage himself. He got damage himself. He's, he's doing some nice water damage, actually, as well. Gabu's not paying attention to this... Uh, um, to, to his water over here. And the Ulfsarks are out and about again. Out and about again. Is Kaluminati going to be able to um, get this TC up? Looks like he's going for... It looks like um, Kaluminati's going for a market over here in this corner. reason why I say that... Well, by the way, this is maybe going to be a sick raid here. Oh, mama. Oh, mama. Dude, if he was able to get a couple of those builds as well, this could be a super, uh, super sick raid. It's, he's going to throw away a bunch of Ulfsarks doing stuff, but this is... Yeah, he's getting kills, man. He's definitely getting kills. Getting a good number of kills. Illuminati, what is he... Flaring his his bronze his armory for bronze weapons, dude. Kaluminati just dropped down to 34 villagers, man. So uh, Gabby right now is the one who um, has the has the villager advantage. Kaluminati, okay, so he's not going for the market. He's going. He's taking the long scenic route um, around to to the gold mines. Okay, maybe gonna find that sick uh, gold mine right or find a sick raid right there for the gold mine. Kaluminati does get his third town center in. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Kaluminati is in the middle of a 15 hour stream. Yeah, Kaluminati has actually been streaming for uh, like 16, 17 hours, something like that. He's crazy, man. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Going for the fourth town center here. What is this? We got. We, it's so weird. Kaluminati's going. He's like going for the Ulfsart Plague uh, as Thor. Very, very interesting. And he's creating a lot of harassment here against uh, Gabu. It's kind of working, man. He's like taking the back TC. He's hitting the gold mine, gold mine, etc. He's creating a whole lot more chaos for Gabu. Whereas, man, you know, Gabu's uh, Gabu is still ahead on villager numbers, but I don't see a Ragnarok coming in anytime soon. Illuminati did have a ton of gold in his in um, and in the bank um, several minutes ago. Already starting a trade route. Interesting. He did have a ton of gold um, in his bank a few minutes ago. I thought he would maybe drop a market and jump mythic, but he's going for the harassment, man. He's going for the harassment. I like this little snipe right here, baby. I like this little TC snipe. He's going for um, a hill fort right here to block the gold as well. I like this play from Illuminati. This is a similar game to what we had um, him against Nolas actually. The sixth Thor eco man, and he's just 
doing stuff. He needs to spend, you know, keep spending those resources. Keep spending those resources and just try and, you know, keep himself ahead of Gabu. I'm not sure what Gabu can do at this point in time. Gabu's kind of, you know, being susceptible to all of this pressure, all of this craziness from Kaluminati. And yeah, God, Gabu actually just calls it. Gabu actually just calls it. He says, hey, I'm back. I'm down on four t or 42 town centers. This TC likely going down as well with more um, more Ulsarks coming in. He's not feeling confident and boom. He will kill you with Toro. <laughs> toro, Toro, Toro. Wow. <laughs> Pretty good play there from Kaluminati, man. Pretty good play for Kaluminati. He ties it up at one to one. Very nice. We got ourselves a one to one, and we got we got you know uh, we got a we got a game three coming in. Do you guys think Gabu is going back to into Loki? That's the real question. Kudos to Gabu, man. I like I like Gabu. He wasn't for whatever reason he wasn't feeling confident playing Loki on Midgard. I think Loki is pretty dad gum decent on Midgard, but he's not feeling confident. Decides to go for the funny little Odin switcherooski, and you know Kaluminati does a little switcherooski of his score. Which, you know, very nice. Good KD. Really good KD, man. Really good KD. It's not favorite total. We want resources total. There we go. Yeah, well done to Kaluminati. Good win. Game three, baby. Game three. I understand, everybody. I understand the Odin pick on Midgard. I understand the Odin pick on Midgard. Why do I say that? Because we have Gabu here in the blue playing Thor. So we have actually a Thor mirror between, between Kaluminati and Gabu. So here's my thought. Here's my idea. Um, first of all, Kaluminati <laughs> sees the bad gold mine, okay? There is a veto potential actually here. Gabu could veto um, this forward gold mine. This is a very bad gold mine. Um, and Gabu could veto it if he wanted to. Although, having said that, he starts with three giraffes, back gazelles, back rhinos, so he does have really sick food, um, you know, even though he has a really bad gold mine. Anyway, having said that, so Gabu plays, Gabu's the, you know, well-known Loki player. He decides to go Odin on Midgard and now Thor on Blue Lagoon. And here's my idea. My idea is that he, um, he's unfortunately, well, not unfortunately, it is what it is, but um, at the bottom of the bracket, we have Kaluminati and Gabu. These guys are in 17th and 18th place. So unfortunately, their their tournament run will finish after after this game as we move into the playoffs. Um, so I think Gabu says, you know, hey, screw it. Let's just let's just, you know, not troll necessarily, but let's go. Let's just do something fun and switch things up. Go for go for Odin and Lo or Odin and uh, Thor. So kudos to him for playing all the all the gods, though. It is a tournament, you know. Oh, shoot. Denlock with the horn blow. Why is my hang on? Let me. My little Chakaman thing is not working, and I'm not entirely sure why. It should be. It should be. Let me log back into the little dashboard thing and get things going. That's probably why. I apologize, Denlock, and everybody who has used the uh, sound alerts up until this point in time. My browser source is offline. No, it's not. We go refund that. An error occurred. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Whatever, we'll deal with that later. We're in the middle of the game. We can't deal with that right now. Anyways, yeah, so um, Kaluminati with the very forward temple right there. Not a big surprise. He knows what's up, so he's going for the aggression. Very nice. Gabu is building a defensive temple. Yeah, nice. No surprise. Yes. Um, how about Kaluminati? How about his food? What does he see food-wise? He sees a monkey. He sees a monkey in the back of his base. He sees a gold mine in the back of his base, which is really nice. Other than that, and actually, let's get our... He sees forward rhino, forward zebras. Okay, nice. Now that I'm thinking about it, let's get a little... We got a Thor mirror. We got to get a Thor intro going. Boom. There we go. Yeah, very interesting. Yes, thank you, Kaluminati. We see very sick gold mine. Very sick gold mine. I can't see your chats, but very sick gold mine. Very sick hunt. Very sick hunt. For but I would say Gabby's is sicker. Sicker hunt. Speaking of sick hunt, actually, 
Abu knows, I mean, uh, we assume Kaluminati is, I don't know if Kaluminati is only flaring to us or if it's to us and Gabu. Anyways, um, this is, this is going to be a late advance for Gabu. Oh my God, Gabu, what are you doing? Oh, Gabu, what are you doing? Gabu has, what, eight villagers, four. Gabu has just that much. He, he wasn't able to advance. So he ends up advancing super, super late. He's going to advance in five minutes, bro. He's getting rushed and he's going to look at this. He's getting rushed and he's going to be up at five minutes. It's because he I think he maybe made one additional villager that he maybe should not have made. Stayed on seven villagers instead of eight. So he goes eight villagers. It delays his advance time. And he's got a Valkyrie on his dadgum gold mine. Sure, the, 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 the town center is attacking it, but still. Oh boy. Oh, really, boy. This is sketchy for Gabu. He's Gabu's going out in a blaze of glory, baby. He's going out on a blaze of glory. By all means, he's got this gold mine down on this bottom side, which is good. Ah. Luminati's going for blood, baby. He's going for blood. He felt that one win. He felt that one win on, on Midgard, and he, he wants more, man. He wants more. He's going for Gabu's blood. Raiding cavalry, okay. <laughs> okay. Gabu, or sorry, Kaluminati does see the gold mine down there on the bottom side. So Gabu, Gabu's man, even if he leaves that gold spot right here, he knows about his second option, but oh boy. It's a good thing he actually has a little bit of gold in his Storven gold mine right here. That gives him a second to try and catch up, but it's 32 population to 44. Kaluminati already has those two longhouses up over there. Poor, poor Gabu, poor Gabu, not like this. After all of the amazing games, CJ calling the GG already, after all the ama amazing games that Gabu has given us, all of the entertainment that Gabu has given us, and not like this, this is not how, this is not how, he's, you know, we want to end your journey. Run, Gabu! The tower is going down. He goes for the tower upgrade, but it goes down ultimately. He walls this tower over here. Maybe it would have been a better idea to get this tower walled up first and foremost, but whatever it is, what it is, dropping longhouses, trying to get RC out, RC and hers here. Oh boy. What about that Valkyrie? The Valkyrie able to find some kills, not necessarily, but the Valkyrie does find the gold down on this bottom side, and Kaluminati is headed that way. He is headed that way. Is Gabby gonna react, man? Is Gabby gonna react? I like what Kaluminati does here, actually. He keeps his slow units here to just pressure and attack and whatever, and then he sends his uh, his faster units, the Rated Cavalry, down on this bottom side with the gold mine. And pick up the Hersey as well. Very nice move there by Kaluminati. I like it. I like it. Is there enough dwarves there to build fight, however? Or dwarf fight, rather? The Hersey are gonna get the Valkyrie, JK. Ooh. Not quite. Okay, not quite. But still, Valk is almost toast at 37 HP. Population, man. 43 to 60 for Kalumin uh, advantage of Kaluminati. Looks like Gabu, Gabu finds an elephant on this top side. Amazing, man. Amazing, amazing. So he doesn't want to go for the rhinos. Instead, he goes finds an elephant on the top side. Very sick. Very sick. CJ calls a GG by all means. By all means, Kaluminati's in the much better position here. But, but, I don't know. Gabu, Gabu ain't dead yet, man. He ain't dead yet. Okay. I would say, honestly, this is probably Kaluminati's game to lose. He should probably know that this is the only gold option. Maybe do a do a little once-over um, with one of his Ulfsarks, and it looks like that's exactly what he's doing, actually. Yeah, get your get one Ulfsark. Just go go scout the top side of the map. Make sure make sure Gabby's not um, able to gold or mine gold anywhere. And then just go for gold control. Just go for gold control. Try and take good fights where you can. Gabu, by all means... Uh, Excuse me, if Gabu or Kaluminati doesn't, you know, trade wisely. Man, I have the hiccup suddenly, sorry. You know, it's it can be if you don't have a strong enough army and the dwarves can turn around and start, you know, shanking you with their little knives. By all means, you know, you can stay alive, that's for sure. Good micro by Kaluminati there. Going for a sick raid over here. Oh boy, Gabu. Oh boy, Gabu. Gabu's definitely going down in a blaze of glory, that's for sure. <laughs> Okay. Actually, Kaluminati's hitting the food right here. Also hitting the wood or the gold right here. Boom, is he going for the... Goes for the ox cart? Bam, gets the ox cart in order to idle all of those six dwarves. Very nicely done. Very nicely done. Okay. 
Dude, Kaluminati is gonna, or sorry, Gabu's gonna fight, man. He's a fighter for sure. For those of you guys who watched the Gabu against the Hell's Ravage series, that was an entertaining series, man. Super entertaining series. Uh, you know, part of the reason why Gabu makes such, is so entertaining to watch is because he just doesn't resign quickly. He just, you know, he fights and fights and fights and he, it's like a legitimate fight. It's not like he just goes and hides his villagers in the corner. He's, he fights back, man. He stays in there. He fights back his warrior. Kudos to him, man. Kudos to him. By all means, this is Kaluminati's game to lose, but you know, there's there's some there's some life. There's some life in this game for Gabu. There's some life in here for Gabu. 45 pop for like one minute, Gabu doing the Chrono JJ specials. <laughs> oh Chrono. Nice. Yeah, check this out. Nice. Nice. So the fact that Kaluminati sees this here, it might discourage him from going down to this bottom side. So Gabu trying to be a little bit tricky with his units, with his economy rather. Diversity, baby. You gotta, gotta diversify your portfolio, which he hath done. And actually, yeah, Kaluminati's headed to the other side with medium raiders. Okay, so it ain't going fool Kaluminati. It ain't going fool old Kaluminati. By all means, you know, ever so slowly, Gabu is kind of inching back with his population. He's inching back this population, maybe with these, you know, he can take really good fights potentially here with all those throwing Axemen. The big problem, however, is that there's three Valkyries out for Kaluminati. Yeah, good raid here, good raid, good raid, good raid. Yeah, the three Valks out for Kaluminati. That's the big problem for Gabu, man. That's a really big problem for Gabu. He needs to, he, he needs an answer for that. He really needs an answer for that. Okay, there's one, one Valk pick. That's something, that is something. 17 villagers on gold. Oh boy. Oh really boy. 17 dwarves. Did I say villagers? 17 dwarves. Anyways, maybe not the best fight for uh, Gabu to be taken right here, but he is only fighting against half of Kaluminati's army at this point in time. It's half against half, so not too shabby. Hi, Toby. Okay. Hi, do you want to watch the games? You want to watch the games with me, Toby? There we go. That's this is actually a really good fight for Gabu, honestly. He fights against the Raiders of Kaluminati, and Kaluminati's um infantry is a little bit slow to jump into the mix, and boom, just like that. We are on equal population. We are on equal villagers and equal population. I think the village or the resources, the total resources, is gonna be better for um Kaluminati because he's been, you know, his economy's been working this whole time. Good boy, Toby. Good boy. His economy has been working this whole time, whereas Gabu has been running out to gold mines, running out to elephant spots. He could even run down and, yeah, take this take this food right here in all sincerity. There's life in, like I said, there's life in this game, man. There's definitely life in this game for Gabu, that's for sure. That is for sure. That is for sure. Speaking of life, looking for hunt, uh, evidently. Looking for hunt. I think there is some hunt up here, actually. Oh, no, there's not. Just kidding. Okay. Kaluminati finds the hunters. Oh, boy. Poor, poor Gabu, man. Poor Gabu. Or does he? Maybe he doesn't find the hunters, actually. Okay. Gabu's trying to push back on this forward... Uh, what is this called? Base? Of Kaluminati? He sneaks this elephant right there. He's sneaking this, this right here. Dude. Gabu's back in this base. He even has a score lead, you know, you know for crying out loud. Dude, Gabu's still in this, man. Gabu is still in this. Maybe because, you know, we got 12 villagers running around the map doing a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> 17 gold. Uh, for those of you aspiring Norse players, uh, 17 on gold with one town center. That's a little heavy on gold. It's a little heavy on gold. Definitely, instead of going for the pure dwarf, he's going for the pure dwarf eco. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It might pan out. It might pan out. Where am I from? I'm from USA, MP. I'm from USA. Anyways, yeah, at this point in time, Gabby's looking pretty darn decent, dude. He is looking pretty darn decent. Um, the heavy, or sorry, the medium cavalry play, medium infantry and medium. Okay, so that's very nice for Kaluminati. He's got medium, medium. Still the wrong Valk numbers, but still. Kaluminati's down on population, actually. Look at this. Medium, medium raiders and medium infantry is one thing, but dude, look at the, look at the, um, the army from Gabu. He's on three Valkyries as well. That Valkyrie's just about toast. He's at 40 HP. 
Oh boy, Kaluminati, Kaluminati, man. Is he gonna is he gonna throw this game? Is he gonna throw this game? Like I was saying earlier, it's his game to lose, man. It's his game to lose. Despite Gabba's best efforts, I think he's gonna win this series. <laughs> Says Elsa. <laughs> I think he might, man. I think he might. Although Kaluminati's back onto the food over here. Although Gabby's gonna see it, man. He just invested way too much into into all that hunt over there. In all sincerity, the diversi the you know the diversifying his portfolio. Kaluminati needs to. Kaluminati, I think actually in real life, I think he actually does have like a uh, you know some a decent portfolio for himself going, some investments and whatnot. So he just needs to apply that to his uh, to his AOM gameplay. Illuminati seems like he's not used to using Norse. It is true, Deadlock, it is true. Um, Illuminati has been playing a lot of Norse recently because of Fimble Winter, but he is known to be a raw player, that's for sure. All Norse wars eventually turn into throwing Axemen and Myth units if Classical goes on long enough. <laughs> Seriously. He's finding some hunt eventually, man. Those villagers were over here, they went all up here, they found nothing. They went over here, da, 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 through the middle, found the zebras, now they're on an elephant. Oh man, quite the trek for this one single elephant, holy smokes. Speaking of the elephant, yeah, Gabu sees it too, man, Gabu sees it too. Is he just kind of vilified it? I think that's not a bad idea to just vilified it, honestly, not a bad idea. Okay, so he's kind of retreating and building, oh. Whose forest fire was that? That's Gabby's forest fire right there. Yeah, okay, it did a little bit of damage, but nothing too hefty. Gabby's up on two town centers, man. Gabby's on two town centers. He's got a lot of people over here. I guess he's done with the... He was able to eat the rhinos. Super sick, man. He's dropping farms. No farms for Kaluminati just yet. A very naked-looking town center. Oh, 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 I didn't even see that. I didn't even see that. He's up through Scotty, man. What the fuck are we talking about? Kaluminati's finances? Yeah, you know, because, his, because of his funny macro play here. That's why. <laughs> Anyway, he's going for a second TC himself. Again, he doesn't have farms, man. He doesn't have farms, so... Really sketchy, in my opinion. Really sketchy. A couple of raiders for Gabu. Finding finding a little gold spot right there. Nice. Okay. Gabu's looking pretty good, man. Gabu's looking pretty good. Although, once Kaluminati takes his town center, I think that'll... Uh, where can Gabu pressure? That's the real question. Where can Gabu pressure? He's building this forward longhouse like he wants to pressure the town center here. But... Yeah, what is what is this what is this longhouse um all about you just got back what did you miss oh yeah well, well you know you got to diversify your portfolio when you're investing that's yeah tldr um uh jay <laughs> yes the elephant in the room the elephant in the room is gone however the elephant in the room is gone is that a market in the corner for cluminati it is okay we got gabu as well gabu's on two town centers he's also gone up through scotty as well Sacks coming in for Kaluminati. Love that upgrade. Definitely love that upgrade. This has turned into a really entertaining game, man. Kaluminati was doing a great job pressuring gold and everything, but Gabu was able to hold on just long enough to kind of establish a decent army, took a couple of good fights, and he's looking pretty darn decent, man. Took a lot of hunt as well. That, that was definitely helpful, taking all that hunt. Don't think this is a good fight for Gabu, although he is fighting under his town center. That is something. Oh, sorry, Toby. Sorry, Toby. Sorry, Toby, I just kicked Toby on accident. Is there a turning coming where people are free to pick God? Um, yes, Nemphi. There's the King of the Gods tournament, which is, I don't think it's finished just yet. That is m m close to being finished, but that's, um, there, it's free God pick in that regard. Clearly, Nemphi is not excited about the Norse Wars. And no, it's Norse forever. <laughs> Gabby's dropping a hill for it again. He's got this gold mine. Where's Gabby going for gold after this? The gold mine has 2,000 gold left over in it. There's this gold mine down here that he's preemptively walled up. That's, you know, that's nice. That's nice. I think Gabby's looking good in this game by all means. He's getting Witcher Harvest, Hand Axe Irrigation. Wow, so the Loki player does know how to get re um, economy upgrades. Okay, impressive Gabu. Impressive, impressive, impressive. Gabu is looking good, man. He's taking his third town center. <laughs> Excuse me. Again, the really good farms. Great Winter Harvest and Irrigation for the sick farms. I don't know, man. Like, what is Kaluminati doing right here? He's got he's got some hefty throwing Haxman. 
other than that, what's he doing, man? What's he doing? Is he going for Mythic? Again, he's dropping the market, but he's not really going for, Yeah, he's not going for the Town Center up here. But what? The raids? <laughs> Fuck you, TurboTax! Did Hell's just get a... Uh, <laughs> did, did you get a... Did you get a... What's it called? An ad for TurboTax Hell's? <laughs> And talking about investment strategies, the IRS is like, what's that? What's, what's that? Investments? What's that? Pay your taxes. The IRS is always listening, man. The IRS is always listening. I don't know what, you know, for those of you around the world, I'm sure you guys have your own, you know, your own country's IRS. It's the, the tax revenue service. That's what we're calling about. The tax collectors. <laughs> yeah, Hells, did you seriously get a TurboTax advertisement? If so, that is hilarious, dude. That is so hilarious. We are coming up on tax season, so it's not the craziest thing in the world, but, you know, it is what it is. Anyways, okay, so Kaluminati shifts over to his left-hand side. Top-hand side, left-hand side, top. Um, and he ends up getting his third town center. Actually, before Gabu snipes his own town center. Snipes? That's not the right word. Gets, builds his own TC. But this is the thing. What are these guys doing? It's like these guys are, they're like playing chicken. They're like, who's going Ragnarok first? Who's going Ragnarok first? It is Gabu. Gabu just clicks up the Ragnarok, okay? Illuminati is close to going up Ragnarok himself. Okay. We're basically on equal population numbers, villager population numbers. But does Gabby know how to rag? We'll find out. <laughs> Carl Wonders core is gonna come. Are you enjoying the tax? Are you enjoying the investment um discussion, Carl? Is that what you're is that what's going on here? <laughs> Well, I will tell you one thing, Jay. Gabu does know what Rag feels like. So that is one thing. He does know how to lose against a Rag. That's kind of an insult, but, you know, he has lost several games to Ragnarok, so he does know how to play against Ragnarok, defend against Ragnarok, lose to Ragnarok, etc. Um, you know, so that's so that does give him clues as to how to execute it. Hells did actually get a, a TurboTax advertisement. That is that is just golden, man. That is so funny. That is so funny, man. Illuminati has Maiden Stream in the background. No, 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 no. Besides, I have a delay on Mephiston, so... Yeah, dude, once again, we see him going for Husk Girls. What is up with this? Don't let me forget. Please don't let me forget. I have to ask Gabu. I have to ask him about the Husk Girls. Why go Husk Girls, man? He did it against Hells with all those throwing Axemen. He's doing it again. He's doing it again, again, again. What in the hap- what, what is happening? In the UK, you can invest up to 20k a year. Gains are tax-free. Are you kidding me? Wow. That is a good idea in my in my opinion, um, Naka. That's a really good opinion. That's a really good opinion. That's a really good idea in my opinion. Do not come. Do oh, not no. come. Pion 24. At least I think it's a good idea. I'm not some, you know, financial wizard, but I think it's a good idea. It inspires lower income people to, um, lower income people to invest. So, you know, any, you know, the, the higher echelon, the higher strata, financial strata are able to, um, invest more, but, you know, you're going to be taxed for more, of course. Same here. Okay. Well, clearly I don't know as much about, um, you know, investments compared to other gentlemen. Which I need to get going. Um, speaking of investments, yeah, Gabby's investing some gold into these walls on this left side. Doesn't, whoops, sorry, I misclicked. Doesn't quite get the wall up, um, but think about getting the wall up to um, stop the trade route from happening. Similar story for um, Kaluminati. Similar story, walling up on this top side. I am I think I'm liking Kaluminati's position in all sincerity. I'm liking his position, but I don't like how he has so few longhouses. Um, I really like, look at this, I really like Gabu's position here, although he's very naked on this town center up on this top side. Okay, there are some buildings here. Heavy coming in, that's nice. Um, but yeah, the fact that Kaluminati, um, he has a lot of throwing axemen, dude. He has so many throwing axemen. But the fact that he's already got his trade route going, he's walling up and everything, I think that's super nice, man. I think that is super duper nice. Speaking of super nice, man, those throwing, or the, the, the fire giants against all those throwing axemen, buddy, those things are just gonna burn these guys to a crisp. Are you kidding me? Look at all those, look at all those, um, low HP throwing axemen right there. Come on, man. Come on, man. 20k per year tax free on the income you put in. Yeah, yeah, I gotcha. Heavy coming in, heavy coming in. That's really nice, man. Really nice. Looking good in the armory department. Dude, he's getting bronze shields. Gabu is getting bronze shields. I have this. I am. I am. I, I have the suspicion that. I mean, what? Of course, it's good to get bronze shields because by all means, you know, it's it's a cheap upgrade. Blah 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 blah. blah. But does he think that throwing axemen do pierce damage? 
That's what I want to know. I know, Russ. I know. We're not. Yeah, but it keeps making ma husk girls when there's a bunch of ma uh, mass husk girls. Indeed, it's funny, man. Indeed. Nice. What are we looking at now? Whoa, dude. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look, look, look. Here, you guys got to see this. Look. 97 villagers for Gabu. 97 villagers for Gabu compared to 75 for Kaluminati. Also, big difference. Nine trade caravans for Kaluminati. So, Kaluminati has set himself up. Um. To survive Ragnarok and actually have some income after Ragnarok, but still, this this looks like a funny little, yeah, decent little raid here. Okay, he goes for the frost. Was this a valuable frost? I'm not so sure. Fire giants can get really sick picks on all of those um, ox caravans by all means. Ragnarok. Gabby goes for the Ragnarok. He goes for the he goes for the frost. And he goes for the Ragnarok right after. Okay. So no trade caravans for Gabu, but he does have a whole bunch of, of rag heroes, that's for sure. Okay, he's got iron, bronze, bronze. How about Kaluminati? Bronze, 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 bronze. Okay. A little bit of an armory advantage for Gabu, and definitely a numbers advantage for Gabu. In fact, look at this. Look, 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 real quick, real quick, real quick. 360, 350 basically compared to 304. So Gabu, about 50 additional population for Gabu compared to um, Kaluminati. Kaluminati does have a really great number of champion throwing axemen here, however, with Huntress Axe. And he has Frost. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's true, that's true, that's true. That's true. Ooh, that's true. The throwing Axeman chunk is big, man, because they're so well uh, upgraded. These guys can trade fairly well against all of um, all of the infantry that Gabu has, right? Check this out. Check this out. Illuminati's up on this top side, picking off TCs. That is really sick. But look at the minimap. Look at the minimap. Look at the minimap. Look at that blob of blue. Look at the blue blob right blare. That is a big blue blob, baby. That is a big blue blob, by all means. Illuminati and it's that's sick that he pick off the town center right there. That's sick, but he might lose his own town center and infrastructure and everything if he's not careful. Oh my god, dude, Gabu is ahead by a hundred population. He's ahead by a hundred population. A hundred population. You have got to be kidding me, man. There we go. Yeah, TC goes down. These guys are. I'm gonna. These guys are saying stuff in the chat. I'm gonna keep my. Um, I'm gonna keep the resources up because I want to see what their populations are like. 286 for Gabu compared to 170 for um, for Illuminati. Gabu's gonna sneak this TC as well. That is so funny. That also prevents uh, Illuminati from um, farming after Ragnarok is over. Dude, I think Gabu's got this, man. I think Gabu's got this. What is Illuminati saying in the chat? It's got to be Illuminati. Ah, it's close, man. It's close. He does have the TC, but Gabu's got this other group coming in from behind. Oh, boy. Gabu from behind, man. Gabu in from behind. Okay, they were saying stuff in the chat. Kaluminati says, okay, I gotta go. <laughs> okay, I gotta go. <laughs> I have autism spikes. <laughs> but I'm this long. Yeah, Kaluminati's been streaming for, you know, almost a full day. Holy crap. I wait for you, rag man. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Are they just gonna clear the map and have a rag right in the middle of the map? Dude. No, because it's just gonna be a rag fight. Gabu is Ragnarok. That's all that's gonna happen, man. Yeah, I think that was a misplay by Kaluminati. He was down on population. He ended up taking the worst fight, and there we have it. So Kaluminati ends ends Fimble Winter 4 with one win. With one win. Illuminati did throw this. He did throw this. I hate to say it, man, but I agree with you. I have Down Syndrome worse than you. <laughs> GG's. GG's. <laughs> Gabu wins with Thor. Hey! <laughs> Gabu gets a win with Thor. Very well done. Very. I won't live this down. 1400, here I come. Just like Odin King Curse. Oh boy. Oh really boy. Let's give him a let's give Gabu who is a Gabu on the left. He is Gabu takes a series two to one, man. He takes a series two to one. I'm telling you, everybody, Gabu from behind, baby. Swear to God, me is S2G. Oh, I didn't. I thought he mistyped. Got to go G2G. S2G is swear to God. Oh, I didn't even know that J touch. I learned something today. That's nice. Oh, well, there we go, everybody. Kaluminati 
It was his game to win. He advanced early by like 40 seconds. He had amazing gold control. He had good eco damage, etc., etc., etc. But Gabu is scrappy. Gabu is resilient. He holds on. And ultimately, he has the much bigger army. Look at that. 124 units compared to 107 roughly units. GG's indeed. Well done, Kaluminati. Add a boy for Kaluminati playing through this tournament, man. He uh he was the he was the on the low side of the seating compared to everybody else, but you know, he did donate to the prize pool. He definitely deserves to be here. He made for very entertaining games. He made for very entertaining games. And I'm going to say this. I know this is the last, you know, both of these guys. This was their last Fimble Winter 4 um, game between the two of them. But I'm telling you guys, I said this. Mm, when did I say this? I said this the other day when I was casting one of Kaluminati's games. I think Kaluminati against Hell's Ravage. Kaluminati was very close, very close to winning multiple games against Shadowfax against Nullis, etc. He was very close. Ultimately, he wasn't able to pull it out. <laughs> he wasn't able to pull it off, rather. He wasn't able to pull it off. But I don't know. He I think I think I think he um I think he's really close to taking some really big wins. For example, Nolis. Nolis is kind of lucky that he didn't drop that game on Midgard, for example. So I don't know. Kudos to Kaluminati. He goes down with only one win of the tournament. Um, it was a good win, by all means. It was a good win on, you know, that that um, that Midgard game. But yeah, he... Um, I got six subs when I won that second game, says Kaluminati. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> anyway, so Gabu. I think Gabu... Um, in fact, I think, this, I, I, I think the story goes... That same point goes for both Gabu and Kaluminati. Both of them are on the bottom side of the bracket. So by all means... Um, you know, I think Gabu, I think Gabu definitely deserved, not that you deserve anything, but I think def Gabu definitely could have taken more games than he actually did. I think he could have taken more games than he actually did. Um, he had some of the most exciting games that we've had in the tournament so far. So, you know, he might end up winning that 50 bucks um, prize for the, the best game of the tourney. Um, anyway, so he put on, he put on, you know, super entertaining games, but, you know, wasn't quite able to get the victories. And, you know, yeah, Kaluminati's really close to, he's figuring out, he's figuring out Norse, he's figuring out Thor. We've seen him grow a lot as a player over these past, you know, the past month or so that, you know, this tournament's been going on. We've seen him, yeah, we've seen him grow a lot, and I don't know, I'm, I'm impressed, I'm really impressed, I'm really impressed. Checks of units, sure, 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 sure. Yeah, it was really equal, really equal. Earlier second town center for Gabu bumped him up. And then, you know, Gabu just ended up bumping up a little bit higher, prepping for that Ragnarok. Yeah. He goes down with only one win of the tournament. Hey, man, you be proud of that win, Kaluminati. I think you win. I think you deserve, deserve. You know what I mean by deserve. I think you, you know, deserve. Or I think you easily could have gotten more wins, dude. And again, like Heimdall just said, Gab is a very dangerous Loki. He is a very dangerous Loki, man. I'm really surprised that Gabu actually didn't get more wins. Um, you know, he played great. He had, I don't know, I just have really positive things to say about both of these players, you know? Gabu's such an entertaining player to watch. He's really aggressive and scrappy, really entertaining player to watch. Illuminati's come such a far away and, you know, he's a really resilient and funny player in his own right. So I don't know, man. I think there's a lot of potential for Kaluminati, and I, I say that in, very seriously. I think there's a lot of potential for Kaluminati as a, as a player in general, but, um, um, you know, on, on, the, on the competitive stage, so, so to speak. You know, I can make an award for the biggest thrower. I will think about making an award for the biggest throw. <laughs> the fastest series lost. <laughs> Anyways, well played to both these guys. Well played to both these guys. That was a fun, that was a fun series to watch, man. Really well done.